In this video, I'll cover how to create a new service agreement from beginning to end. So first, under the Settings tab and Company Setup, go to the Service Agreements page. Click on New Service Agreement. At this point, give your service agreement a name. And then each section can be completed with work order templates and PDF documents. So under the initial service, if you would like to include an initial service, and in this case it's going to be an inspection, I'm going to do so by clicking the drop down arrow and selecting an item from my work order template list and I'll do the same for the reoccurring service. So where I would find that list is under settings and under work order templates. So the page is open on my computer already and I'll go through creating a template. So going to that page, click on new template and give your template a name choose the billing frequency, whether it's no invoice, billing at the time of service, which is for every work order, monthly, quarterly, yearly, or one time. Then select the description. So we'll go ahead and say this is bed bug inspection. And you can choose the price or zero it out, add materials at this level. It will also re report over to the mobile app service instructions, PDF forms. So let's say we add, uh, we'll do a prep sheet. I can preload this to schedule on a specific technician. I can also change the frequency from one time to something else and add this to the work pool plus change the duration. So that is the case for all types of services. And then once those are live, you can select it in the initial and then a second one for the recurring. The PDF forms for the agreements are found under the settings PDF forms. So this list, I'm going to select bed bug treatment agreement, which can be found under settings, company setup, and PDF forms. So I have that page open as well. And at this point, I can upload a PDF form from my computer if I have a proprietary form that I'd like to use, or I can select one from the Fieldwork database. So returning to the agreements page, I've selected the bed bug treatment agreement, and this is the email message that is defaulted, and it will go out to the client when you want them to sign or review the agreement. And this message can be deleted. You can generate your own email message and use the placeholders to create a personalized message to your clients. Last section is the renewal information. If this service agreement renews, it doesn't have to, but if it does, you can include renewal notices and fees. So if I select that it renews, I can choose between one month, three, six month, one year, two, and three year terms. And in addition to that, I can include a renewal message. So the default is to appear like an invoice that prompts the clients to renew, agree, pay, whatever you would like them to do. The content block is to include in this design a more personalized letter format in lieu of an invoice. So if I want to design more of a friendly note, I can remove everything but the customer's address block and then include the content and that will provide the letter body. The email message is defaulted to have a very generic message, just this is the information on your renewal, and you can again change that information. So the 
uh, renewal notice can be designed to go out a certain number of days prior to or after your renewal date and you can add as many as you would like. The template name does need to be updated so instead of new document template I'm going to call this just renewal notice and then save. Now that agreement is ready to be added to a client's profile and emailed for signature.